What is going on guys? Wiser here and bringing you the recap of the last war for 2.0. Uh, I was against this American clan, Phoenix Dragon, uh, aka Little Bird. <laughs> uh, we were having a little bit of fun actually in preparation day. Uh, they had wrote in their clan message something like uh, one who question mark. Um, so uh, <laughs> we had a little chirping going about a friendly chirp. It was nothing, nothing uh, disrespectful or anything, uh, but just a little fun before uh, in preparation day. And then we went over to battle day and we were just going to jump over here and check out what happened. Uh, as you can see, 94 to 74 with 2.0 is victorious. Uh, so fantastic job, boys. Uh, this war actually as well. Um, is the war in the middle of the Invicta versus Crystal Warrior War. So uh, whenever that happens, there's generally a handful of guys that will hop over to one of the other clans, whether it be Swarm or up to 2.0. Usually up to 2.0, we'll fill, fill ourselves up and do like a 35 or 40 man war. So this was one of those wars. We had quite a few uh, guys um, jump up from Invicta and just kind of hang out, which was awesome. And we've got some really nice content in here to show you. You know, we missed a two star on that one Town Hall 11. But if you look, these guys had six Town Hall 11s and seven Town Hall 10s to our three Town Hall 11s and, or sorry, four Town Hall 11s. That's so weird. I, I don't even understand how that can be possible, but whatever. Uh, good old Supercell weight system. Uh, and then, so we had one, two, three, four, only four town hall uh, tents. So, you know, they had a substantial town hall advantage, although we did still have a substantial hero advantage, regardless of that fact. Um, you know, but uh, they used most of their attacks. Uh, I, they really should have used all their attacks, but it is what it is. We didn't use all our attacks for some strange reason, too. Um, but looking down the board, they struggled with quite a few of our nines. Um, Kind of is what it is. Got a few three stars in there. Nothing too crazy. And uh, we cleared the board on the nines very early in this war, uh, which is really good because we gave our um, Town Hall 10s and 11s some uh, three star opportunities up top, and it paid off. So <clears throat> let's check out their number two. This is the Mystery Man going in Town Hall 11 versus. Uh, not quite a max 11, you know, only has a level 2 warden in there, but uh, still an amazing attack here by our mystery man. You gotta love those Apple only icons. Apple doesn't like to share anything. That's why Google's so awesome and Android's awesome because it's just universally compatible with almost everything you can think of. But uh, that's uh, that argument's for another time. Um, so, as you can see, the lure's gone out, poison went down, take care of most of that dragon in the CC troops. Uh, draws it all over to that uh, left section, gonna finish it off uh, via the little Archer Queen mock that he's just dropped. So Dragon's going to go down, Queen's going to step up there and start um, taking all this stuff out. Uh, wall Breakers to open up the wall. Good placement on that, it was right probably on the line of that cannon. Um, but Wall Breakers are successful, everything is open. Queen's going to walk in and start doing some work. <clears throat> so he's just looking basically to kind of walk up and uh, take out that Eagle Artillery, I think, without getting hit by the Inferno. I think it happens. Um... I'm kind of watching some of these cold. I only watched a little bit. Uh, does drop the rage. Yeah, gets the eagle here. Just needs a few more shots on it. Under that rage, is going to rip it down. Down goes the eagle. Then he can drop the golems. I thought that was very, uh, very smart. I mean, the eagle's not crazy, but it does do some damage, you know, to your tankage. Uh, so, uh, really nice job to eliminate that defense before you send in your kill squad here. Everything else goes down, right? He's got a bunch of giants in there, a uh, few golems, Pekka even in there, uh, and the Grand Warden sitting in behind, kind of just shielding everything. Still has nine hogs in the bag with two heals. Still has a Rage and a Haste, which I thought was kind of interesting. Um, but does drop the Haste here. I'm not, I think it's just to like throw the hogs through this point. You know, I mean, <laughs> I guess just decided you don't need the second poison anyways. Um, 
And so it just goes ahead and uh, drops these hogs and they just fly through there right into that heel. The hogs are just going to keep working around this ring while the kill squad uh, takes out that core. Still a lot of healing in there. As soon as that inferno goes down, those healers are going to continue to get awesome value. They're going to heal everything back up right now. Uh, they're untouched. Queen's in there uh, just doing work on trash buildings on the outside, right? Those hogs are still working through this base. You know, uh, didn't even bring that many. I don't even know if he's lost a hog yet. Um, yeah, to be honest, I don't think he has. But look at all these hogs just rocking through this base. Archer Tower Cannon Expo to go. Clean up time. <clears throat> Beautiful attack, man. Tree stars in the bag. <clears throat> A little cherry coke. Uh, so nice job on those 11s, guys. Uh, did have teach 10 trip here for you. South fence doing really, really well for us uh, at the Town Hall 10 level. It's only been about uh, Town Hall 10 for, I don't know, maybe a month. So opens up the wall just doing the uh, good old Suicide Hero Quad Lalo uh, strat. Uh, only offs for the one freeze, which I thought was kind of interesting. Quite often you'll see the double freeze, especially when they're split up enough that you're not going to get both Infernos uh, with one freeze. Um, but it doesn't matter because he's going to have extra extra haste because of that and just be able to just push everything into this core as you see. So uh, Queen just needs to take out that air defense. Her job is done. Uh, if anything, he really wants her to die before she yanks that CC out. <clears throat> Rages it up, but is just going to go down. Perfect. In goes the air attack. One Lava Hound in, a few balloons behind it. Another Lava Hound in few more balloons going in like i just love the placement and just going back and forth between the lava hounds and the balloons right hound loon loon, loon. hound loon, loon loon look at the haste like the whole base is now pink and purple uh balloons are just gonna start flying in there goes that freeze i was talking about right over top of that inferno the balloons are just gonna work their way through and just rock this compact core right they're, they're getting extra value because they're doing splash damage watch these teslas are gonna go down at the same time bam both of them at the exact same time, right? And you really need to split that stuff up, guys. Even if it's just like one on one side of a wall and one on the other side of the wall, I cannot stand having Teslas side by side just because of that fact. So beautiful attack yourself, fence. Just rip this guy apart. Love that suicide hero swap. 38, 35. It'll be 40, 40 soon enough, buddy. Tree stars in the bag. All right, one more. Mofo. Mofo almost had a six star war. I think he had a 97% on his other attack. So really nice job there, Mofo. Uh, has recently just come back to us actually from a bit of a break. He took a, a few months off, something like that. It's been a while since Mofo has really been in many wars with us, but uh, has really been practicing and uh, is just starting to rock these Town Hall 10s. Like nothing, like I said, he almost had a six star war here. You know, there's a lot of Town Hall 9 defenses in here, but again, like this is not an easy thing to do. I mean, I tried to two star this base, this exact same base layout, um, because the Town Hall's right there, I tried to step up as nine versus 10. I had a massive failure. I'm, I'm not good at stepping up and hitting Town Hall 10s, I'll tell you that much. I need more practice with that. Uh, but we do get quite a bit of practice to be honest with it. Um, so poison goes down. Queen is looking good. This queen walk is taking out 22% of this base. Going to end up getting a second air defense in a moment. Uh, so Mofo's brought three hounds, uh, 20 balloons, couple freezes with some hastes. So I like the giant and, uh, sorry, he only brings uh, two lava hounds. My bad, because he brings a golem and a giant there. To go with this king, he wants to take out this compartment, the defensive queen, and get that third air defense. Then he's got two lava hounds and uh, 20 balloons for the, basically this backside. Uh, nice thing about this is how close these infernos are to the edge. So it doesn't take a lot for balloons under haste and rage to get right to those infernos. You don't need to be creative because it's not in the center. You're not going to worry about your balloons like wrapping around uh, as opposed to like when uh, infernos and they have this core and it's kind of a ring. That's kind of the trick to those ring bases is you got to funnel your troops into the core, right? So you got to, for balloons, you got to take out the outer defenses so that the, the breadcrumbs for the balloons are the defenses in the core, not the defenses around the rest of the ring. Uh, but here, see what I mean? Like, boom, two freezes go down, a bunch of haste, and all of a sudden those balloons are instantly on top of those infernos. They didn't even stand a chance. 
boom, rage goes down, pushing all those balloons over the expo. Really, the only major uh, thing to worry about after this air defense is this back end wizard tower because it is doing a little bit of damage to those loons and all those pups. But there's just too many balloons there. To oh, does he get the balloons? Oh, so close. <laughs> the wizard tower um, almost ruins this raid. Uh, would have been nice to maybe save, uh, you know, just recognizing that that whiz tower is on the outside just to save two balloons, but still kill that mofo. This, <laughs> this queen finishes off this base with the help of a few pups. There she is. Going to take that expo out. Pups are going to work through the rest of that. And that's your tree stars in the bag. Nice one. Almost a six-star war, buddy. I know you're frustrated about that second attack, but <clears throat> welcome back. We needed you. Um, so I had a few nines I wanted to show. Um, I wanted to find, you know, I'm just going to go to the bottom here. I like showing Kev's hits because uh, Kev has low heroes, and I know you guys like seeing the lower heroes just, to, just for us to... Prove that these same strats can work uh, in the lower with lower level heroes um, versus lower level eh, versus lower level heroes, and a good plan is still better in, than high level heroes, right? Like you know, I, you can with 15, 15 heroes, you can take out a base with 25, 25 heroes. It's been done many, 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 many times. Um, so as you can see, Kev's just kind of opening up. Uh, this whole section has created a nice funnel here. Jump spell is down. He's really letting his golems work in there before he drops that king. <clears throat> in a moment, though, that king is going to go in. Now that the CC is locked on to those golems. So king, nice delay on that king, right? He's only on a level 16 king, so he cannot take that much damage. So uh, it was really good delaying that. He needs to get the king up to this compartment up here. So as soon as that uh, elixir storage goes down, he's getting into this core. Queen is about to shoot him once he takes a step up here. Oh, come on, queen. I know you're doing it. There she is. No, does not draw the king over. But he sent in the, uh, there it is. Finally, the king goes over there. He's going to lock on that queen. It's already raised it up. Come on, king. <laughs> Still doesn't get the queen. <laughs> wow. Sorry, I should have watched this first, Kev. <laughs> You're crapping your pants at this point. But I believe this uh, archer queen is going to step up, uh, take a few shots at her, and takes her down with a sliver of health. That would have been trouble. If your archer queen had died there, this would not have been a three-star. But uh, really good patience, good balloon deployment. Um, I cannot believe your king just... Did not want to go over to that queen. Uh, he was pretty far away, right? That was quite the distance for him to travel. But he had nice patience there, Kev. It is clean up. Beautiful job. <clears throat> Don't get me wrong. High level heroes makes it makes your plans go to plan per se more often. <laughs> but right. You know, it, it can be done, and Kev shows us all the time with these 15, 16 king, 15 queen. Um, you know, just got to get creative and have patience and uh, have good planning. And have your king go and kill the queen, not stand around in the core <laughs> for no reason. All right. Um, what else is it going to show you here? Well, I want to show you. I had one of uh, some swarm guys. Feathers, a... Bethino. So our number 30 jumping up here um, against 23. Uh, 20, 20 hero, so nothing too, too crazy uh, against 15, 12, right? That's uh, pretty standard. Uh, maxed out pretty much, not except for walls, maxed out. Town all nine. Uh, so I thought this was a really good attack. Uh, gets the lure out, poisons that. What did I say? If you got the, if you give, if you're given the lure with a very minimal investment, like five troop space, we're talking, lure it and poison that shit every time. Uh, just makes your life that much easier. You don't got to worry about it. Your golems don't take any damage from the CC troops, right? Which allows them to get that much extra push into the base. It's just, it's worth it. With this extra thirty seconds before the thirty seconds, the lure and poison. Ate up a big enough chunk of time, it, it it made a difference in a lot of raids. Now, it doesn't. So, just take it, poison that shit every time. All right, so 
Funnels created, opens up the tip right on that mortar, jump spell goes down and let everything kind of into a huge piece of this base. Valks are going behind. Once again, there's no CC troops, so these Valks are going to get huge, huge value with all these compact buildings. He, uh, he's got a heal that I believe is about to go down in this core section. Maybe not, maybe he's just letting his Valks, there it is, there's a the heal. Uh, goes down. All the Valks are going to move into this core, start working on all the stuff in here. There's The, uh, the bombs are clearly uh, both in that core, so he's nothing to worry about. Start sprinkling hogs, three, four per defense, all on the outside because he knows there's no worry of bombs whatsoever. Has two heals and was just being very, very patient, uh, letting the hogs all meet up. And now he's going to drop another heal, kind of, I believe, right around this section. There goes the DGB, barely takes any hogs with it. Heals down, healing up those Valks. Second heal goes down, healing those hogs. like just destroyed this base pitino. Pitino, sorry. <laughs> Beautiful. Sorry. I mean, I mean, I think I said Pitino's in Swarm. He's actually an Invicta. I get mixed up all the time. But beautiful job, man. Nice raid. Tree stars in the bag once again. So uh, really nice war, guys. You know, um, when they have substantially, you know, so they're, they're Town Hall 10 all the way down to 13, right? So we're Town Hall 10 down to only 8, right? Um, so 5 more Town Hall 10 slash 11s uh, does make a big difference, right? We had a lot of 9 stepping up, trying to get the 2 stars on those 10s for, the, for our 10s to choose who they want to try and triple and uh you know it makes it makes it very interesting but uh obviously uh coming away with the 20 star victory is a fantastic job so uh hats off 2.0 and uh thanks to invicta guys for coming up and more and it's always a pleasure having you guys with us so uh that'll do it for your wisdom from wiser just trying to help you bag that next three star until then i'm out